Hey everyone, so there was a magician on Penn and Teller's Fool Us um, named Todd Lemansky and he did a really awesome job with this trick um, and he used uh, well Penn kind of hinted at it but he said that he had used roughing spray which I believe is true um, this particular tutorial for the trick doesn't use roughing spray at all and somebody else already revealed the trick on YouTube so I'm not really revealing it I'm just demonstrating another um, method for how you can do this trick and make it look a little more natural so let's just get into it I'm gonna do a demo and then I'm gonna reveal the trick <clears throat> so all the cards are different I'm actually in front of a mirror so just a regular deck of cards there and you can shuffle but I'm not gonna bother because I'm doing a quick video right now so somebody can be uh, holding the deck and their the entire time in their hand and then you just have them turn over some cards and whenever they feel like they might be getting close to the ace of hearts you have them stop so if they get a special feeling about one of these cards just have them stop <clears throat> alright but they're still keeping an eye out on the face up cards okay so let's say they get a special feeling about this one so you put it have them put it face down square up the deck a little bit and then keep going actually they can just turn it face up like this because they already had their aha moment about that one card <clears throat> but they're still looking for the ace of hearts with all these other face up cards and sure enough it's not there and if they spread through the deck I'm just gonna spread through There's a bunch of face up cards, one face down card and then a bunch of more face up cards okay <clears throat> now if you spread through like this if you look in the mirror you can see that there's one face up card and it happens to be the ace of hearts okay now I'm gonna, gonna teach you how to do that trick and all it really takes is just a couple of quick cuts and you're reset <clears throat> so here's how to do it um, it actually uses a double back card and this is in a the thickness of one card you can buy these special uh, gimmick cards and a special deck that comes with a, an assortment of special cards or you can just take two cards and glue them back to back sorry it's a double face card not a double back card so one face would be whatever and then the other face would be a different card so I've got a four spades and an ace of hearts obviously so you want the four of spades on the bottom of the deck and if you want to shuffle all you have to do is just hold on to the bottom card and just shuffle like that keeping the four of spades on the bottom the whole time so you can have someone deal off cards I'm gonna go really quick like this alright let's say they got a special feeling about that one which isn't there that's four hearts combination of the, the trick card so they have uh, they set one down any card they want they can put down and then have them deal two or three more cards and then this is important here you just say okay well because uh, because you already had your aha moment about that one card then it doesn't matter if you see the rest of these all face up 
Now, the reason for doing that is because you want their special card, or the Ace of Hearts, face up somewhere near the center, like somewhere near their face down card. Okay, so you want it near the center rather than on the top of the deck afterwards. So sure enough, they're going through these cards one at a time, <clears throat> and they don't see the Ace of Hearts anywhere. Now what you can do is you can actually spread through all the cards and say now we've got a bunch of face down or face up cards, one face down card, and a bunch more uh, face up cards. <clears throat> now there's another special move coming up right now, um, and here's a little tutorial just before I do it. Rather than spreading the cards from the top of your thumb you're gonna block push over some cards so use your thumb on the side and block push some over like that <clears throat> okay so after you spread through all these face up you're gonna say okay there's only one face down card now turn it up like this because it looks a lot more natural and then if you look in the mirror so from this side they're gonna see a bunch of face down cards right so now from your point of view you're gonna be looking for uh, not a face down card but you're gonna be looking for the four of spades which is right there so to them they're seeing a face up card which is the ace of hearts and now is when you do your move and you put your thumb on the edge and block push over a bunch of cards and then keep spreading because if I were to keep spreading from here then I'm gonna flash the actual card that they turned over which you don't want to do <clears throat> now if you're worried that even when you block push them that you might flash it uh, all you have to do is just kinda reach over with your right hand and keep spreading and then keep spreading keep spreading keep spreading right so that's another way to get around that. Um, now, rather than pulling this out and flipping it over and then ruining your trick, um, you can just push that back in. And then if they say anything about, oh, don't you have to turn that card over? Then you can say, yeah, sure. I'll just go through, turn this one over, which is their actual card. Rather than turning it face up, you're going to turn the rest face down. Then you're going to take this pile, put it back on, flip that back over and put that on top. So now you're almost reset and you have the four of spades. Yeah, not too far from the bottom there. So you're going to look for that. You're going to get a pinky break underneath there. And then just cut a few times. Now you got the four of spades right there on the bottom. And you're all set to go. So hopefully you like that handling a little bit better. Um, let me know what you think. And please subscribe. Take care.